All right, you guys, I am super excited to share with you my haul from Lotion Crafter. Um, they were having a sale, so I kind of just went through and I was just reading descriptions of things that I wanted to incorporate into my products. Um, so first things first, I mean, I needed more B3 and more Panthenol. Um, so we got Niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, Dale Panthenol, which is vitamin B5, both really amazing for your skin. Panthenol helps with hydration and um, I mean it's just it's an amazing vitamin for your skin and your hair. So I use this in my shampoo bars as well. Niacinamide is amazing at helping cell turnover so it's a really good anti-aging vitamin. Um, it's really really great in serums that you want to help penetrate better. Um, so next I got Next, I got some hyaluronic acid, um, 80 to 110,000 Dalton. So this is like a medium molecular weight. Um, I wanted something that wouldn't create like a gel serum that I could use in some cream gels and some toners. Um, so I got two grams of that. And then I got Genestine, which is really interesting to me. Um, I actually have already recorded this video, um, and then I I didn't like my video, so I deleted it. Um, so anyways, I already opened it. Um, but this is something that's like a skin identical ingredient. It's pretty interesting. Um, basically, it helps repair your, your skin cells, um, and it actually helps thicken your skin and help your skin create more hyaluronic acid so it's gonna plump your skin make it more supple more hydrated it's amazing um, it's also really good for anti-inflammatory and dry skin so I think this is gonna be a really good inclusion in some products and then next is an acetyl glucosamine. Um, this is also really great um, it, in wound healing and anti-inflammatory and redness. Um, I really think using these two together in some products is going to create some really, really great results. So I'm excited to test that out. So I got 10 grams of that. I got 5 grams of the Genestein. And then next, which I'm, I'm also super excited about, whoops, didn't mean to hit the camera. Um, I got strawberry fruit essence water and basil hydrosol. So I'm actually planning on making a strawberry basil AHA toner. Um, I got the idea from a restaurant that I worked at that made strawberry basil lemonade and it was so good. So I know that this is gonna smell amazing together. Um, more strawberry, less basil, you know, it's gonna be great. And I have um, fruit acid complex that I've been wanting to create a toner and products with, but I didn't want it to be unscented and I'm, I'm kind of veering away from using fragrance oils or anything that's um, synthetic, I don't know the ingredients of, you know, um, so it's gonna be fun and exciting, I'm so excited. All right, um, next up is lactic lactic acid at 90%. So I got lactic acid um, so that I can make some facial toners and maybe like a lactic acid 10% serum. It's going to help really brighten your skin, help with hyperpigmentation, things like that. I got some chamomile extract. Um, this is really, really great for um, inflamed, dry skin. It's also really good for sensitive skin. So this is gonna work great in all types of things, um, cleansers, moisturizers, toners, everything. All right, and the next thing I got is baobab oil. Um, it's actually pretty interesting. It's an African tree um, that it comes from. And I, I already do have baobab protein extract that I have that I use in one of my facial creams. Um, but I really wanted to get this oil. It is apparently like a nice silky feel. And it looks nice. It's pretty viscous. It says that it has a nutty aroma, so. Yeah, yeah, I think it does. Um, but it says it has a silky feel, um, and it's really, really great for dry, chapped skin. It's good for lips, 
Um, it's good for hair, dry damaged hair. So I think this is gonna be pretty interesting. On Lotion Crafter, they actually say ancient folklore that if you soak water in baobab seeds that it will bring you all kinds of like prosperity and health and everything else so I think that's pretty cool next thing I got is Optifan um, the preservative that I use right now I really really do like it um, but the thing is is I just realized that it's not compatible with some of the ingredients that I have so um, I wanted something that I could use in place of it if I needed to this is um, a really good preservative for all types of formulations so aqueous anhydrous and emulsions so got some optifin I know a lot of other natural um, skincare creators just use that as well so the next thing I got which is I'm so excited to try these I actually got three tiny little um, anti-aging samples to use in um, probably serums or maybe a cream gel I'm not really sure gel cream cream gel okay so first things first Sessa flash um, it's a tightening agent so it's gonna be really really good for um, helping to visibly smooth the skin so any fine lines and wrinkles and things like that and it says it also um, is effective for long-lasting hydration so this is gonna be pretty pretty interesting um, and it works hand-in-hand hand with Matrixel 3000 and Argoline um, which is what this wrinkle defense complex is composed of um, so this is pretty expensive and you use it anywhere from 9 to 18 percent use it at 9 or 18 percent um, but this is also an amazing product for anti-aging anti-wrinkled skin tightening um, and then if you use a product so for instance if I make two serums um, you would want to use them together because it's they're gonna work together to really help increase your skin I mean I'm so excited to try it myself and then I got a ceramide complex. Um, this really helps maintain your skin's barrier. So it's gonna help um, the fatty acids in your skin because this is composed of cholesterol and fatty acids and things like that. Um, it's also really great for anti-aging and dry sensitive skin. So I'm super excited to try that as well. Um, and last but not least, I got Aristaflex AVC, which is a powder that creates aqueous gels. So like for instance, just to give you an idea, like I could take the strawberry fruit essence water, the basal hydrosol, and my preservative, and I can make a strawberry basil gel. But if you wanna get um, you know more ingredients and obviously you, you can dissolve your vitamins in your waters um, but it's also a cream you can make cream gels out of it so I can put an oil in here and it's gonna be an extremely hydrating gel and it says on lotion crafter that the sensory application of this is really nice apparently it breaks down really easily your skin absorbs all the great properties that you're putting onto it and it feels nice it doesn't leave a tacky feel um, and also I think it's gonna be a really really good hyaluronic acid cream I'm so excited. I want to make a body cream that has hyaluronic acid in it. And that's one of the reasons why I got this low molecular weight. Well, it's not low, it's medium. Is so that when I make a hyaluronic acid um, solution, it's not thick because this is going to thicken it. And it's going to have a better sensory feel than the thick hyaluronic acid. So super excited. Super duper. All right. I think that's it. Oh, I also got a filling syringe. Um, so I've been having <laughs> one heck of a time trying to get my products into my um, my bottle. So for instance, um, this is a serum that I made. It's a gel serum that I made with xanthan gum, um, but it was a pain to get it in this bottle because it was so thick. So my plan is to take this, cut down the tip, that way I can just suck it up and stick it in. 
you know <laughs> you know I'm super excited so that was my haul you guys um, I'm so excited to start making things with these ingredients um, I'm I have so many ideas like if I <laughs> if only I had more money have you ever heard that have you ever thought that to yourself <laughs> so um, I would buy all of the things but this is what I got and I'm, I'm super excited to start working with it and to make some formulations and share them with you guys here on YouTube or wherever you're watching. Maybe you're watching on Facebook um, or Instagram or, or anywhere. I don't even know why I tried to put all that on there because there's no point. It's just going to roll away. Um, I, I want to say that's all I got. Let's just make sure. Got our niacinamide and our DL panthenol. Yeah, so super excited to use all these ingredients and create some really cool things. Super duper excited to make some cream gels. Um, I know if you're familiar with Neutrogena, they have like a Hydro Boost facial gel moisturizer. This is what's gonna make that. It's gonna be so amazing. So amazing, I, I just can't wait. I'm floored. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or if you would like me to link below any of these ingredients so you can check them out for yourself, let me know. Go ahead and check down below in the description box and I will leave a link to my Etsy shop as well so you can see what kind of products I make. Um, right now, I am. I have so many things in, in, the, in the books to do um, that I haven't done. So um, I kind of wanted to start a YouTube channel to kick my butt in gear of creating new products, um, making them, being creative, and being inspired. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any experience with some of these new ingredients that I got, um, leave a comment down below and let me know how it worked for you or if you've used products with these ingredients, let me know how they work. All right, thank you guys for watching, bye.